This is a video tutorial on how to make a simple grid in PowerPoint and insert photos into your grid. So I've opened PowerPoint and I'm going to start a blank presentation. And just for clarity's sake, I will get rid of these suggested formatting boxes for a title slide. Okay, so I have a blank slide here, and I'm going to create a simple grid first by a series of shapes. So in this home menu, I have a shapes option. I'm going to select a rectangle. And by clicking and dragging in a diagonal direction, I'm going to insert a approximate unit for the grid I want to create. This will depend on your particular goal and your design. With that box selected, I can hit Command D or Control D to duplicate that shape and I can drag it over using the red dotted guides you see here in PowerPoint um, to line it up with a box that I first created and creating a little channel of space in between. And if I control D again, PowerPoint will insert a duplicate of that box, but now it knows that I'm creating a grid and control D and now I have a row. If I want to make another row below it of the same size units in the grid, I can select all the boxes that were just created with control A or command A and then command D and it's duplicated the row and I'm going to drag that row right below it using the red dotted guidelines that PowerPoint is giving me to line them up and drop it where I want to. Now I have a very simple grid of shapes and if you notice these shapes are not centered on the slide either horizontally or vertically. We have a narrow margin on top and a much bigger margin on the bottom, narrow on the left, and much larger on the right. I'm going to select all my shapes and treat them as a group because within the grid they are nicely aligned. I just need to treat them as a group on the entire slide. So with them all selected, this um, icon over here right next to the align tool on the upper right you see where my cursor is I'm going to group the objects so I select group and now it's treating them all as one and now what I want to do is align that big grid in the center of the slide doing align center and you see that it's now centered um, horizontally on the slide. I also want to center it vertically and I go to a line, a line middle. And now it is beautifully laid out on my slide. To insert an image into these grid units, I need to ungroup them and treat them separately now. So back to that little grouping icon and select ungroup. I'm clicking the top left box to insert a picture into that shape. Go to, so you're, I'm in the menu called shape format. You see how it's in red on the horizontal menu. So I'm going to shape fill because I'm going to fill it now, not with a color, but with a picture. So select picture and it's giving me options to select 
from my device. So I'm going to scroll down, find the picture I want, select it, and say insert. But if you notice, it's inserted the picture without preserving the aspect ratio of the original image. This image is stretched because its original size was more um, proportionally, you know, had more height than width. So now it's squashed into that square and that's not good. We need to correct the aspect ratio of the image. The way to do that is to go to picture format, which is right next to shape format. It's still selected as you can see. And then the crop tool, the downward caret, if you hit it, you have the option here to fill. And if you click fill, it will correct the aspect ratio so it looks like your original image. And now you can see in shaded the, ver the proportions of the original image, which I said was more vertical. But you can put your cursor inside on the box on that image and move it around to frame the image the way you want it to frame. You may even want to expand. If I wanted to zoom into the face here, with that image selected, I can take one of these corner um, toggles, holding shift to maintain the aspect ratio, and ex zoom in that way by expanding the image and move it. I want to sort of frame that face. I think I want it even bigger. Still selected, I can expand it and move it there. There, that's what I want. And I'm clicking unselect that whole box will show you really what you've done. So now I have an image, it's not skewed, it's right there in that grid. And you can go to the next unit on your grid, click it, and repeat that process. And of course, save your work when you're finished.